Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi visited Sharm el-Sheikh Airport Wednesday, promising his government will hide nothing. We will announce the results of the investigation with complete transparency and clarity. For the first time, the U.S. has been asked to get directly involved in the investigation of what brought down Russian Metrojet Flight 9268. National Transportation Safety Board investigators now on standby to go to Egypt. The first indication came from Egypt's foreign minister saying the government was willing to accept American personnel. They have to be uh, given full access to the uh, uh, crash area site uh, and they will undertake the same uh, and have the same accessibility to all of the international investigators. Security still a question in the Egyptian resort city of Sharm el-Sheikh. CNN has seen security personnel using handheld bomb detectors that British officials and security experts say just don't work. ISIS in Sinai, believed to be behind the attack, released a new propaganda video. The speaker threatens attacks in Egypt and Israel, but no mention of the Metrojet crash. The pressure is on Egypt to do more than just find the perpetrator, experts say, especially given the tourism industry that Egypt does not want to scare off. They need to take stock of what uh, could potentially be a, a growing threat in, in the, the Sinai, potentially with this franchise of the Islamic State um, growing in its capability and capacity.